Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 31. We've won the mission, so all that's left is some simple cleanup. Shouldn't be too difficult to clean things up. Let's start with up here. Well, go on then. Was I on turn based mode all along? Ah, oh, I should never have taken any damage from these. These two clowns. Okay. <coughs> All right, well, anyway, that was not. That was not very bright. Better use an anti poison on her because she actually got stabbed with a poison spear like a million times. In fact, so much so that one poison thing is not enough to fix it. Okay, well, that was a wasteful start to what is supposed to be just me. That was a wasteful start to what is supposed to be me just wandering around and uh, collecting all the goodies. But okay, well whatever. Okay, uh, pretty sure we checked that pot and there's nothing in it, right? I'm pretty sure I also checked these bodies. Okay, let's carry on, plowing through the map. Okay, that guy was on stealth mode. Was. <laughs> He was on stealth mode, now he is in very much in dead mode. Okay, a doctor's bag. Sweet, we'll have that. That almost makes this expedition worth it. It's a long ass corridor here. Oh, and what a surprise, there's a dude. I was hoping to shuffle a little bit more before turn base mode started. Hey, boys, have some of this. Wow, that did way more damage than expected. Is it just me, or is this, this FNP90 hitting well above its weight? It seems to be doing way more damage than its stats would have you believe. Mm. 
Nice. Finish him. Ah. Oh. Oof. Oh yeah, of course I'm using AP ammo still, aren't I? That's partly why this damage output is so insane. Okay, there's one all the way over there. Well, he can come closer. What? There's no way he threw a grenade that far, right? Surely not. I mean, that is some, that is some insanity throw. Ugh, taking some damage here. I guess cleaning up the map is going to be more of a pain in the ass than I expected. It's like it's actually coming from above. Oh, it's a it's going to be a bug, isn't it? It has to be. Oh, great. And now everyone's waddling. It's a bug. It has to be. There must be someone on the map above that's throwing it through the ceiling. I'm just going to move forward and hope that I'm no longer targetable through the roof. I'm getting I'm getting killed from above through the ceiling by an enemy on the upper level What is this? Oh, somehow ended up in multiplayer mode. Well, that's hilarious. That's just another one on the long list of problems with this game. Now what can we do about that? Not much. Okay, here's what we'll do. We know there's only a couple of guys here and we know that there's one guy here. We'll just quickly clear this area and then we'll leave and we'll go outside. 
and will clear from the outside in. If there's no enemies on the on the upper level, then they can't weirdly throw grenades through the roof at me. And I'll call that a win. Got to reset my gear. That's what we'll do. We'll quickly get rid of these two guys and then we'll go outside and just start sniping. Because somehow, old beastie boy was literally throwing grenades through the roof at us. Okay, for some reason I did not shoot there. Oh, I'm not on uh, I'm not on aggressive mode, that's why. That's fine. Go grab that all important doctor's bag. Okay, let's back out of this place via the other via the area we've cleared. So we just have to clear this bit, this bit, this bit. And we know there's like three guys in this bit. <clears throat> but we're gonna have to go around. Unless we fancy being grenade bug grenaded from from on high somehow. Cause that makes perfect sense. What a joke. It's just you know, I'm I'm pretty sure that I ran into this issue as a kid as well, and I think that's where I decided to just quit. <laughs> I think I think that might do you know, I really, I have that weird, vague feeling in my memory that that was the straw that broke the camel's back. That, that happened to me before. Still worth cleaning out the map for stuff. I'm not going to give up on that being my objective to clear the whole map. Oh. But as much as that is going to be my my uh, my objective, how much more ammo have you got? 16 shots. Oh man, that 7.62 is running out fast, but yeah. Evidently there was some dude up here who shared his stupid grenades with me. Shot him. Hunting rifles at dawn, my friends. Hunting rifles at dawn. Maybe I should consider starting using these healing powders, but 
I only reduce your perception by uh, by one for half an hour. Remember Chosen, they cloud the mind as they cleanse the body. Oh wow, he had an M14. And a scout handbook. I will buy that for a dollar. No wonder he hit me so hard. Oomph. Skill points go brrr. Hey, some ammo. All right, Brian's out. We're finally running into ammunition troubles. None of you had a good chance to hit there. Um. Okay. <laughs> this is really not... <clears throat> really not elegant at all what I'm doing here. Okay, I definitely didn't loot this one. Up here I'm expecting to find a dude with bomb bugs. Shot them. You can see in real time mode, the uh, when you have a lot of firepower on target, they can't do anything. They sort of do this whole wobble, wobble, wobble thing. Wow, that guy was glowing. He had evidently been stood in the radiation for a while. He gave the man a glowing review. Oh, this is the one. Yo, oh, Farsight's been crippled. Doc. Go ahead and fix that arm, shall we? Okay. I think we found the enemy. 
that was throwing bomb bugs at us, and it was this one. It truly is ridiculous, though, to be to be hit through the goddamn s floor or through the ceiling or how you know whatever whatever your perspective is. Oh, there's a gun. To uh, yeah, to be hit through the uh... oh look, another one with bomb bugs. Maybe it was this one. I don't know which one it was, all I know... ...is, uh, that it's nonsense. The Ruger AC-556F is a development of the Ruger Mini-14, a 5.56 assault rifle originally used by police forces. Range 18, 14 to 26. Sixteen to thirty, range twenty two. That is a very solid piece of hardware. Oh, more with bomb bugs. I should have cleared this whole roof area first. But then again, I mean, the mission can't expect you to, uh... ...have cleared the whole of the upper area. Ooh! 12 gorge slug, sweet. Because the mission very firmly implies that you should, that you can sneak in. And deal with things that way. The game strongly implies that you should be able to go sneak down, do what I did, basically, free the Death Claws mother and then uh, kill old loser McLoser face. These guys, man, they were glowing. Well, wow, that's some sweet ammunition. Jesus, these ones up here have got some real nice stuff. This really was a game that was supposed to be played in real time. Shame I'm not really I'm not normally a fan of real time. Okay. 
there was actually a few more enemies than I expected. Uh, had I realized there would be so many enemies after having cleared out the main area, I might have, uh... I might not have bothered. Give our boy Edmund the magic pills here. Nice. Also nice. Oh man, look at this high quality ammunition just being handed out around here. Okay, that's one way down. And there's the other way. Nice, even more. Good stuff. In fact, I just picked up something here. Oh no, wait, never mind. I got that earlier. Okay, so far sight's fully loaded without being encumbered. load up stitch. Okay, that's a bridge too far for stitch. Okay, stitch is now fully loaded. Let's go with Brian next. This is going to lead to some serious inventory management later. Okay, so now Brian's also fully loaded. Give me those silly poles, we'll get rid of those. They weigh a ton and they have no value. Go ahead and hold like 300 rounds of ammo for me. In fact, considering the amount of anti-personnel ammo that I have acquired, just take it all. Oh, perfect. Okay, so everyone is fully loaded with stuff apart from my main character. Did I check this one? No, I did not. And he had some goodies too. Okay, finally seeing some ammunition here, which is nice. Okay, so this is the little grave here. Pull out. That's all our roaches.
Five stim packs is our reward. Okay, what else is around here? I don't know if there's much else of value on this mission. Run! Run! Oh, this game. Okay, all right. <clears throat> We're in. Oh, it's a grenade! No, it's a rock. Whew. I'm like, it's a grenade, no one else is shooting. For some reason. He's not shooting because he hasn't got his weapon equipped. He's almost out of ammo. I give you powders of healing. Shows over, folks. He's already dead. What is that? Oh, it's the Needler pistol. Which I think is just a weirdly pointless gun. You can see here in real time mode we are uh, very easily taking damage though, that's one thing. Perception's going to be destroyed doing this, but whatever. We're nearly done. We're nearly out of here anyway. Clink, clink. No bullets left. Perception problem will go away after a while. Where are the rest of them? Oh, okay, there they are. I'm like, where are the rest of these stupid healing powders? Let's go ahead and just use them all. I'm not expecting to run into too much trouble anymore. Although, we could, I mean, we could in theory just wait for the side effect to wear off. I think it's after 30 minutes of game time. I'm not quite sure how long that is in real time. I 
I have exactly 10,000 caps. That's so weird. Why am I so massively overweight as well? I'm like weirdly overweight, but I'm looking at my inventory here and I don't really see where all the weight is coming from. What are you... Okay, well at least he's still alive I suppose. That's the prison where we were going to be before. Maybe I should go back around. Pull back. Okay, they're dealt with. There's actually a lot of resistance here. I thought that we had done it all. Because, you know, this we know that this area is clear. And we know that this area is clear. So, it's only like three dudes there. And I thought that was going to be largely it. But, <clears throat> apparently, there's way more dudes than I gave gave the game credit for. Not the biggest make big deal. Brian was fully healed, but now his perception is one. He's high on powdered life. that. We'll be waddling out of here full of goodies. Yep, we'll have that too. And that. I've got 806 9mm rounds. That's a lot of 9mm. I should probably go ahead and spend that in the wastes at some point, as in going and doing random encounters. Okay. Oh, found trap. Then I just blundered straight into it. You can tell, like, how I've just lost interest. <laughs> you can really tell how I've just lost interest in doing this properly and clearing areas neatly. It's just, this game has crashed. 
after the end of like what three episodes now and that's hurt me it's hurt me spiritually Well, I suppose it's been a good opportunity to practice my uh, medical skill. Okay, we're nearly done. We're nearly done with this mission, and this base, and this whole area, anyway. It's just this area, whatever's there, plus the three guys that we know are down here. That's it. <clears throat> <clears throat> to be honest, I haven't found anything worth having, apart from we found a great quantity of anti-personnel rounds. an uh, enormous quantity of 9mm. But I have also gotten through many hundred rounds of 7.62 and not really replaced them. What the hell does this powder bag do? I'm just gonna pick it up just to see what it does. A low-tech hunting weapon. When thrown in the face of the target, the powder puffs through the cloth bag, leaving the creature stunned. So it's like some kind of... low-grade... low-grade stun grenade. I guess. Search that one. Ooh, tasty. We'll have that. Everyone's encumbered but far side. Do 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 do. We'll load her up in a minute so everyone moves at the same speed. That'll be the way forward. The last thing we want is for far side to actually lead the team. Dudes up the stairs? Or is there just bugs up the stairs? <sighs> okay, well, we got him. This is the way this this is the way this game is supposed to be played, folks, in real time. Looks like several uh, beast lords here were destroyed. This looks like friggin' Wolverine claws. Really not interested in melee weapons, although I will I will take the old uh, chainsaw blade. That's got to be worth good money. Apparently I was carrying around a load of those festering spears. Okay, sweet. We're nearly done. <clears throat> I think we got a couple of blokes down here to deal with and then we're done. Done, done, done. Done, done, da da dun dun Dun, dun, da da dun 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 Go ahead and top up my health. Just in case. And let's save in case it crashes. So I've become allergic to crashes in this game. Let's get this map finished and move on. Okay. 
Okay, that was easy. Just a couple left and we're done. Dun 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 dun. Guys, move as a team, for crying out loud. There we go. Wow, that was close. Okay, well that should be the last of the enemies, so we can just leave now. <sighs> what a fiasco. Yep, I could have taken a lot longer and done this in turn-based and done it a lot more cleanly. For sure. Just eat this food. Because why not? I love that. Hey, we found a replacement castle revolver. So that's sweet too. Okay, we literally cannot load her up with any more. Number two, lockpick. Let's go clear these doors. have been freed. This poor civilian. Oh well. We know, we already set her free. You're free, you're free. Okay, all right, all done. Guess there's nothing else to find. Let's waddle out of here with all of our loot. With all of our loot and many of our injuries, and let's get out of here. Savillian was killed.
Okay, apparently there's still an idiot up here. I thought I'd cleared the whole area, but I guess not. You know, probably a wise man might might decide to restore a few hit points here, since evidently there are some more enemies. I say that, and then there won't be any. There'll be just the one that I just shot dead. Get out of here. Yep, there was one beast lord left, and he could have just sat there and started killing everybody if I wasn't careful. Where's the exit grid? All the way down there. Let us proceed to the exit grid to leave this mission. <clears throat> I don't know, man. This could have been a fun mission if it wasn't for the fact that I got bomb bugged through the roof. Then after being after being glitched to death, and also after being uh, super crit and then glitched to death. I just, uh, I lost the will to live for a little bit there. Okay, I'm gonna hazard to suggest T13 anti personnel mine. Yep, that's a minefield, alright. There's also a hostile baby deathclaw. Which is weird. I guess the script that made them all friendly does not apply to that one. Are there any boxes there? It doesn't look like it. I think we could probably just safely ignore this area. Oh, there is a fridge! Shoot them. Fine. Don't shoot them. See if I care. is a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> Looks dangerous. I mean, it's a friggin... It's like literally a fluffy thing that you stand on. <sighs> no, it blows up like a friggin anti-personnel mine. So, yeah. Okay, fine. Boy, was I wrong about the puffer. <laughs> I thought, oh yeah, it's just a... Uh... Let's get the hell out of here. 
It's just a, uh, it's just a powder bag that if you stand on it, it makes a big thing of powder that blinds you. Nope. Nope. Apparently it's a bomb. Warrior dead. Hmm, I should check that quickly. I made a huge mistake putting away my 7.62, expecting to find more as well. Boy, did I ever not find more. Are you... are you actually bleeding as a status effect? No. What a fiasco. I'm glad this is over. <laughs> I was playing it so neat and tidy until the horde of cockroaches and then I was like, ah, oh, time to turn on real time. And then after that I played it really well until... Excellent work, warrior. The beast lords have been eliminated and the monsters are no longer under their control. Mm. News of our victory has already reached the surrounding towns. The Brotherhood's reputation alone will now have new recruits flocking to our front door. Our scribes were correct on the Beast Lord's relationship with their animal lackeys. The Beast Lord's inherent telepathic suggestion is a unique ability. It's acquired through prolonged exposure to an unknown radiation present within Marden's underground caves. Unfortunately, we will not be able to duplicate this feat. The scribes explained that this unique mutation only manifests in humans that have been exposed for at least 20 years. But it is of little matter, since science and discipline will always be victorious over ungodly mutation. These are strange times, warrior. The Deathclaw matriarch spoke to our elders today. It seems that her gratitude is genuine and that she is allowing some of her spawn to remain behind when her brood moves on. These Deathclaw young are to be treated as honorary initiates to the Order. Plans are already underway to create a special unit to help assimilate these unusual recruits into our ranks. Personally, I have my misgivings towards these dangerous creatures. I do not believe they should be allowed to fight beside our paladins. However, the Elders insist on this. Between you and me, brother, Sometimes I wonder if the old elders were right. Dismissed. <laughs> He's not happy. All right, let's get back to the bunker and call it a day. It's more Beast Lords. seems to have a gun. Wow, I've basically taken no damage here. Come back, I want to be your friend. Goal. No, 
Okay, he had an LMG, huh? And this one had a hunting rifle. And so did this one, apparently. Didn't use it. I think that was all of the shooters. Okay, now that's got to be all of the shoes. No, he had a Colt as well. Okay, let's get out of here. We're like really running over now, but I just want to get back to the bunker and be in a position where I can just chill out and go over my party. Nope. Nope. Although death claws are, are really good experience points. Okay. We have much to do. For now. Let's just dump ammo. Should free up enough weight on everybody for them to move again. And we can work out what we're doing later. And it did indeed. For everyone except Brian. I guess healing powders are good between random encounters because by the time you hit the next random encounter you'll uh, you'll have lost the special effect of losing perception for each one that you take. Temporarily, of course. <clears throat> now I believe the next thing is to go to the next bunker, which is what I've never done. So this will be as far as I've ever gone. Again, we are victorious, but we cannot rest on our laurels. The time has come again to shift our operations to the new bunker. Take your squad and rendezvous with us there. Okay. That is what I thought. That is what I thought. And now with the Recruits Master, we'll be able to, um... Oh, that's actually an entrance. Huh. Oh, wow, we've unlocked. If I can, uh... We can recruit a whole bold new group of people. Creeper hated life in the Raider hands. Sneak, small guns, decent agility and perception. Got 
bad luck though. Okay. Hundred and fifty nine small guns. That's incredible. And about as sneaky as a giant sign with shoot here written on it. <laughs> 14 perception! My god. Oh, he's perfect, apart from the fact that he has glowing one. Well, I suppose his bad agility would also be problematic. Could get rid of it, though. If we, if we catch him before he hits level... Well, our ghouls have got a perk rate of 4. So he got a perk at 4 and 8. So his next one's at 12. If we if we catch him before he's level 12, or could get him up to level 12, you could use Mutate to change Glowing One into something else. And gain a ridiculously good sniper in the process. Hey, we can put her in our team. <laughs> she used to be a dentist where she got her nickname Hurt. <laughs> God damn. She's level 10. Five perception, five agility. Nope. Ed, his genius with machines. Tenant, oh my god, he's got the perception of a... of a mole. I guess he would make an amazing utility character. But frankly, I like the fact that Stitch can actually fight a little bit. I mean... Anyway. I'm well overrun here, so that is it for now. Join me next time and I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with all this inventory that I've got. Rearrange my character's weapons and such, ready for the battles ahead. And we've also got to transport everything from this bunker to the next bunker, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.